My name is Mike Adams and I'm from Toronto but spending a lot of time uh, in Philadelphia. Normally my work is pretty small. Most people think it's pretty small but it kind of just comes naturally to me like I just make them the size that seems appropriate. Like with the match heads, like a match head tree can only be the size of a match or, or if I'm making things out of um, you know an orange peel for example you know it's the size of the orange like that's the natural size. Maybe I'm just drawn to small things um, in life or what I see but it also seems more accessible to me so I kind of like that. I've done a lot of projects more recently with coins and like coins are already that size so I kind of make they just happen to be really small. Sometimes I find things that I like and, um, and I just hold on to them until I figure out what I'm going to do with them. And this one, it was these tiny nuts and bolts. And I wasn't sure at first what I wanted to do with them, but I decided to start making some little industrial shapes. At the time, I was just starting out and doing jewelry classes. I used those metalworking skills to try and make some almost uh, anatomical or like bulbous shapes that are also industrial. A combination of biomorphic and industrial kind of aesthetic. Uh, this week at the Museum of Glass, we're going to try um, making some um, sculptures of drawings that I've made. Um, there are plaid, almost landscapes or forms that are um, bulbous in shape um, and divided into the grids, but to complicate that grid, I've used many different colors, so they end up looking like plaids, but, but really I just think of them as grids. When I think of shapes and things to draw, I kind of imagine uh, making up my own geology, like a, like a fictional geology or, or alien technology, that kind of thing. Things that maybe you understand or you think you know what it is, but maybe it's just a mysterious thing. I liked patterns a lot when I was younger and doing drawing, it was patterns. And I liked a lot of looking at uh, minerals and things like that and then trying to draw them um, not not to draw them representationally, but just to draw um, on their um, systems and structures. Well, while we're working here, I really came with that one drawing as a starting point um, with the plaid sort of spheres or blobs. And then I was, we would expand from there depending on how that went. Um, I kind of, this is sort of a new thing for me because I really like process or figuring things out as I go along, but where this is so new to me, I'm, it's going to be tricky to say to try and exploit a particular characteristic that I didn't know before comes up. It's a new experience for me to also be in a sort of managerial role or directorship role that's, like I said, I'm always by myself working on things very small. It, I think it got so hot it... Okay. You know, you know what that means, right? Awesome. Yeah, Nico, it looks great. I would like these sculptures that we make this week to eventually be exhibited and I kind of also was thinking of these pieces as um, aesthetically as growths or um, like organisms. Inside the room there's this mysterious thing growing. No one's going to look at it and think that but that's sort of how I'm visualizing the presentation of these pieces. So we're done, we're good. Okay. It's just so funny to watch everyone talking so casually while you're doing all these really like skillful <laughs> things. <laughs>